Hello again and welcome to an episode of Elementary. For those of you watching, I'm your host Jacqueline Watson and today I'm delighted to uh, be interviewing my guest, um, Ed Rizavens. So I do the show every Monday wherein I interview businesses, a large or small, and um, and promote uh, their business. So Rizavant is going to ask me to join any moment. I was having a little bit of technical difficulties. It said, "Ah, oh, there you go." And there we go. We're almost ready to get started. Hi. Hi, Jacqueline. How are you? Hi, Daniela. I'm good. And you? I'm good. Thank you. That's good. So, have you had a nice day? I did, yes. It wasn't too cold okay. outside today, so it was nice. No complaints. Yeah, I know. The weather, the weather, I can't complain about, you know? It's, it's like end of November, and... If you just have to, you know, deal with cold over the next mm -hmm. two months, I'll be okay, you know? Exactly. So we'll get started. Okay. And, you know, um, as people are joining us, let's get started. Introduce yourself, your Instagram handle, and you can introduce both because I know you have two um, accounts. Yeah. So my name is Daniela, and I own Riz Events and Decor. And the Instagram handle for that is Riz, R-I-Z-Z, -Z, Decor. Um, sorry, Riz Events and then underscore Decor. And I also have a Butterfly account, which is more of like an inspirational, motivational account. And that is Butterfly in Training. So um, those are also my Instagram handles. Amazing. So I've interviewed Daniela before. And I've also uh, had the pleasure of, um, you know, purchasing some of her products, so, but she'll get into telling us a little bit more about what she does. And uh, so tell us a bit about Riz Events and, you know, um, just tell us a little bit about Riz Events and what all it does. Okay, uh, so I specialize in home staging, gift baskets and event planning. I know it seems like a lot and I do a little bit of everything though, which is wonderful. It keeps me nice and busy. Uh, so around this time of year, I'm most busy with uh, my gift baskets, obviously with the holiday season approaching. And I offer a wide selection of gift baskets, something to kind of meet everyone's theme and budget as well. And I like to use a lot of very practical and uh, reusable products as well. Most of the products I put inside of the baskets are also Canadian made as well. And I like to use like, I have a sample here, like a chartreuse uh, cutting board. So it's like a wooden base that you can use as a cutting board or for like a chartreuse board. And it comes with a brie cheese, some honey, a little cheese spreader and some crackers. I also have like round cheese boards. And then one of my uh, most popular ones I would say this year, is this one that I called Christmas in Capri. And it comes on a beautiful base with the footed legs. And it has some batchy chocolates and a lot of Italian imported products as well, which a lot of people seem to really like. So I try to make something that's uh, suitable for everybody. I also accommodate allergies. I have allergies myself, so I totally understand uh, what it's like to receive a gift that you actually can enjoy. So I try to accommodate gluten-free options, dairy-free options, vegan, Anything that I can accommodate, I try my best to do. Yeah, and the boards are really pretty. I must say that. I, yeah. I got some from you last year. Mm -hmm. And um, and uh, Lisa says, Daniela, you're the best. Thank you, uh -huh. Lisa. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and uh, Rita says, love the Christmas in Capri. And I, one's favorite, it seems like, this year. Yeah, it looks uh, it looks pretty good. I think it's the bachi that does it, right? Um, bachi chocolates, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't love bachi? Um, yeah. So, um, I mean, I I got a couple of baskets from you last year, and I thought they were very, really well done. 
and I'm getting a few this year as well. And I, I definitely, you know, think they're very cute and well done. Um, and I'm trying to kind of support as many people as I can, um, you know, and, you know, give out my, my gifts. And it's, it's hard because, um, you know, there's not so many, you don't have as much time in the day to get out and, you know, deliver all of those right in time. Um, but it's definitely, you know, I also asked you to do a basket for a vegan option, which is, you know, which you were, you know, nice enough to say, yeah, no problem. You know, if so I can that's great to say, yes, yeah. so I'd like to try to accommodate everybody as much as I can. Yeah, that's so nice. That's so nice. And it's really appreciated. So, so tell us about the range of baskets you have. I can see a few more sitting behind you. So maybe you can just share a bit of that. So just in case someone is looking for a basket, um, yeah. you know, they might uh, be able to, you know, get some ideas to what you have available. Um, well, they range from about 25 to about $150, I would say. And I try to keep like traditional looking ones, like the holiday plaid or something like I showed you with the wooden bases. And mm -hmm. then I also have something this year that I included, which is like a decorative Christmas pillow. Um, and then I have like a little um, tea mug or coffee mug uh, for those people that maybe don't want to have a food product in the basket. So I tried to make a really wide selection this year. That way it accommodates everybody. And um, I also offer uh, delivery as well for most of the GTA, because like you said, sometimes you have so many people on your list, but it's hard to kind of get to all of them, right? So as long as it's within the GTA, then I do offer uh, delivery options as well, which is very helpful. And a lot of corporate orders as well, too, uh, mm -hmm. which is enjoy as well. <laughs> yeah, and that's good to know, right? That's definitely good to know that you offer the delivery options because, yeah. And, um, you know, Rita saying um, great for teachers, too, definitely, um, yeah. <laughs> you know. I, I like the the little cheese boards. I, I mean, I'm so like jazzed by those. <laughs> it's so cute. Two years in a row now. <laughs> um, and um, so, uh, with your gift baskets, I know you also customize yes. uh, a lot of those baskets. So, t uh, tell us a little bit about that. So I usually speak to the client and they'll let me know kind of what the gift is, who it's for and for what the theme is. So if it's a kind of a bereavement, I've made a few of those recently or a baby basket or a new home. So I tend to work with the client and see, first of all, what their budget is, because I always like to keep that in mind. And then, like I said, if there's any allergies or if it's a specific theme or a birthday party, I really like to make my custom like baskets curated to what the client thinks that the gift, you know, the person who is receiving the gift will, um, I think that's important because sometimes just giving someone a generic gift, you're kind of removing that thought from it. And it kind of seems like, okay, well, it's just a regular gift basket. But when you kind of put that little personal touch to it, the person who's receiving it just, you know, actually feels like you took the time to make something that they personally will enjoy, which I think is the best gift to receive. Yeah, no, absolutely. Definitely. I think it's a great um, I think it's nice to know what people really like. And, um, you know, it's, it's kind of weird because I love to actually, you know, I, I kind of sound weird doing this, but I actually am very um, um, attentive to what I see people liking because I feel like it gives me, those are like easy little things for me mm -hmm. to pick up and say, you know, this person doesn't like, I, I don't see them picking you know, X, Y, and Z. And so it just makes it easier to pick a gift, right? And so when someone gets a gift yeah. that they like, it's so much nicer. Mm -hmm. I agree. Right? Yeah. So tell us, how much lead time do you need for these baskets? Um, obviously, during the Christmas uh, season, we're always a little bit busier. So I try to ask people to get their orders in as soon as possible. I'm trying for this year to have a deadline of about like December 15, 16, just so that it gives me some time to prepare, especially a lot of the bigger orders. Uh, but in general, like, I mean, not during the Christmas holiday season when I'm not as busy with the baskets, I really just need a couple days to get the order in and get everything ready. Yeah, someone's asking how much notice. Um, yeah, like how much? For holidays, definitely. Mm -hmm. 
if you order in the better just because there is such an influx of orders coming in but when it's not the holiday season within a couple of days is really all i need okay so the sooner the better and yeah. you know especially if you want to get your selections in right exactly yeah so um so if you have questions about baskets um just make sure you're uh, putting your questions either in that question box or in the comment box. I'm trying to keep an eye on all the comments that come through, uh, just in case you have questions. And of course, you know, you can reach out to um, at Riz Events, and um, she's very good at responding. Um, and, you know, she'll take your order. She'll send pictures. I mean, she sent me pictures with all her little label tagged in. It was <laughs> It was really good. I was like, I couldn't even decide which ones I wanted anymore because I kept reading them, reading them. Um, but she's got a good selection this year. So check it out. And, and I don't, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but I also no, no. here, which makes it a little bit easier too. So it's rizdecor.ca. And I have my holiday collection on there right now. And there's a price list and there's also a description on each basket as well, which makes yeah. it a shop and you kind of see exactly what you're getting as well. Oh, wow. I didn't realize you had the, the, the website for that. That's good to know. And here I am pestering you with all my <laughs> questions. <laughs> I don't mind at all. Thank you. So we've talked about your baskets. Mm -hmm. And let's maybe take a little, um, you know, let's talk about your staging business. Mm -hmm. Tell us, um, you know, a little bit about your staging business. So I offer full staging and accessory staging as well. So a uh, full stage is when like, sometimes the property is vacant or if the furniture and the accessories are a little bit dated, then we'll kind of come in, we'll have the, the homeowners remove the existing products and we'll bring in new products um, of our own. And then also when there's a home that is occupied and the furniture really is pretty good and it works with the space. Then I also provide accessory staging. So where I'll come in and I'll bring mostly accent pieces. So maybe I'll change the coffee table. I'll add a different lamp. We'll put some pillows, some artwork. So it really depends on the space and of course the budget as well. Um, really the sky's the limit. You can come in and kind of just get rid of everything. You or if the space is already somewhat accommodating, then you can add in a few little touches and it makes a world of a difference as well. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, and so how much, um, so how do they contact you for staging or for a consultation? Like, do you do those consultations in person on like a video walkthrough? Like, how do you do them? Yeah, so usually it's the realtor that will contact me because they're the ones that are mm -hmm. the homeowners. Um, and really it depends on what the homeowner is comfortable with. I mean, some people prefer to do it virtually and online, which is fine. We kind of just do a virtual tour through the home and I see the space that way. And then I also do in-person consultations as well, which I mean, it's a little easier because you're actually in the space. You could take some better measurements. You get a better idea of what the layout is, but either way, I mean, it's fine, whatever everyone's comfortable with. <clears throat> so we're getting a question and one of the questions coming in is, do you do holiday porch set setups? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's something that I'm thinking about, to be honest. Um, it just with the holidays, it's really busy. So I'm just trying to see how I can kind of sort it all out. But I mean, it is something that I'm capable of doing because similar to like staging or home decor, and I love Christmas. So it's definitely something I'm open to doing. Yes. Oh, awesome. So get in touch with her. Yes. And uh, she'll squeeze you in. <laughs> <laughs> for the holiday port set up. You know, I'm sure a lot of people are thinking about it, especially, you know, everyone's busy and they have so much going on in their life and they have good intentions of um, putting up um, those decorations, mm -hmm. but sometimes they don't always get to it. Unless you have kids, right? Then you're kind of forced to. Right, they're excited to. Some, yeah. So, <laughs> How much um, time do you need in advance for staging services? Like, Well, usually once I have the initial consultation, which usually takes about an hour, an hour and a half, depending on the space and how much needs to be decluttered. And 
I kind of go through a walkthrough with the clients, let them know what items they should keep and what items they could maybe give away or donate. And that way we just free up the space a little bit better. So then my, my staging comes in and we put all of our products in place. So once the consultation um, happens, I would say a couple days after that, and I feel that realtors sometimes have a schedule as well where they'd like to get maybe the mm -hmm. house first, then the stager come in and then the professional photography. So it's kind of like, I think a couple day process that most realtors like to have. So I'd like to work within their schedules. But once the consultation happens, I'm no more than really a couple days to kind of get everything organized. And that way we can get in there and get everything staged and ready for photography. Yes, us realtors, we tend to have schedules, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> Yeah, sometimes you're trying to fit in, you know, to everyone's schedule, you're trying to please mm -hmm. appease the customer, you're trying to please everybody else, and then you're trying to make sure pictures get taken, exactly. you know, who wants something on the MLS without pictures, right? So then let's talk about event planning. So tell us a little bit more about event planning, what all events that you cover, um, what are some of the events that, you know, um, you would be open to uh, if someone was looking? Mm -hmm. Well, I originally started as an event planning business, uh, but then COVID hit, obviously, and then yeah. event non-existent. We weren't allowed to celebrate anymore. So I kind of put back burner. Um, but now it's nice. I mean, things are finally kind of resumed mm -hmm. normal. So I think people are feeling more comfortable to celebrate and kind of have functions again, which is nice. Uh, so I offer like event planning services. So, I mean, I don't really do weddings. I feel like that's just a little bit, that's a very time consuming kind of event to plan. Mm -hmm. A lot of work behind that. And with the baskets and the staging, I mean, I can only do so much. Um, but smaller events, definitely like a baptism, a birthday party. Um, I've done bridal showers, just, you know, smaller, more intimate events. But some people just want help with like the decor, the menu. Uh, centerpieces, sometimes like a really pretty backdrop to take some pictures. Mm -hmm. So really, I work with the client again with what their theme is and what their budget is. And we try to get their vision to kind of um, come alive that way. And um, again, I try to book those a little bit, at least a month in advance, just to make sure that I can be in touch with my supplier, make sure that, you know, we can get flowers and whatever other decor pieces they need, centerpieces. So with events, I do need a little bit more of a lead, lead time just because of the, um, the amount of work involved. But again, I try to work with everyone's budget and everyone's time and try to help them put something really special and intimate. And, you know, I always like that little personal touch. I feel like when you go to someone's event, you want it to stand out from the last event that you went to and you want it to really speak to the person who's hosting the event. So whether it's their you know bridal shower or their birthday party, something that really speaks to the person because you're the one celebrating it, right? So I feel like part of who you are, what you enjoy should really be kind of highlighted on that day. Yeah, so we're getting a question about uh, rental pieces for, I guess, um, not just for baptisms or confirmations or any of that, but do you do like rental pieces period? Like, do you have, or is that something you plan to do? I do do that actually. So I have like some backdrop pieces. I have like uh, decorative cake tables, cake stands, um, I have like bonbonier, uh, kind of booster boxes, uh, stuff like that. And like very neutral, we have whites, we have gold. So something that kind of works with every theme. And I offer those on a rental basis as well. And either the client can come by and pick up the pieces and then kind of set them up themselves. Or I also offer set up obviously for a fee where I can go to the event space and kind of take care of everything for um, the host. That way they can just, you know, focus on having a good time and I take care of all the background and all the work that goes into planning the party. Yeah, that's so nice. That's excellent, actually. Yeah, it just makes it so much easier, um, yeah. right? And, and it's such a big thing. Like I've noticed, you know, um, I mean, I always, you know, my daughter's all grown up, but when she was little, I always did birthday parties and I always had like big birthday parties for her. But now I just feel like the birthday parties are so pretty. Everyone has a theme and yeah. it's, you know, oh. It just becomes this like grand event, which is nice. Yeah, especially for like, you know, I mean, especially I think uh, working through COVID, a lot of people were like just stuck at home doing their own little parties. And so it's kind of nice to have that little 
jazz it up a bit, I guess. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Right? Yeah. So that's nice that you're getting, uh, you're going to get busy or you're getting busy with events because, you know, you know, our restrictions are pretty much done for a while, right? Get back, but you never know. <laughs> but for, it's nice to be able to kind of celebrate again. We, we need that. Oh, I mean, we're meant to be together, right? So it's nice to yeah. find celebrate those milestones again and party and enjoy life. That's really what it's all about. Celebrating the good times, right? Yeah, absolutely. Life's too short to do anything else anyways. Exactly. <laughs> so I want to make sure that I've captured everything I could possibly capture about your business. So um, is there something you'd like to add that I may have missed out? You want to showcase some of your baskets behind you? Um, uh, I, just, I just forgot to mention that kind of on the track with the home staging, I found that with a lot of my uh, customers or the clients, I mean, the realtor is the person who originally would hire me. And then once I found that I would stage the home for the homeowners, they were kind of like, oh my gosh, I, I didn't realize my home could look like this. Like, why am I selling? Maybe I want to stay. And then you start to realize that people kind of enjoy that magazine kind of look when it comes to their home. And unfortunately, some people don't get to experience that until they reach the point where they are selling and they're staging their home. Uh, so I've had a few clients actually approach me after the staging process was done and after the sale of their home and they would purchase a new home, they would always say to me, okay, well, now I have a new home and I have a blank slate. And I kind of want you to make my house look like what it looked like when it was staged. So I kind of do like staging to sell, but now I do like staging to stay where like people want to live in a home that, you know, they feel good in and they feel proud to live in. So I've had a few clients where after we sell their original home and we move into their new home, I'll offer like interior decor services as well, which have been so much fun. And either I just prepare like, like a design board. So I'll sit with them. We'll kind of discuss what their needs are for the design of their home, what their taste is. I'll tell them, like, go on Pinterest, go on Home Magazine, see, you know, what kind of catches your eye, what you're interested in. And then we work together, obviously, with their budget and with their taste. And we kind of bring some of those characteristics into their home, which is so fun. And then if they just want to go a little bit above that and have more of a full service, then we'll create the design board. And then I'll actually go myself and I'll personally like find all the products for them, source them out, and then install them in the home. So kind of like an interior decorating service and project. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I feel like those two definitely go hand in hand, right? Um, you know, uh, it's, it's, um, it's a chore trying to talk your clients into staging. Yeah. And when they do stage, they love it, you know, and, and they don't just love it, they fall in love with their home. It's almost scary because it's like, right. okay, we are still selling this house. Um, but, you know, it's nice that you can come back in and also make those other services available. And because they're comfortable working with you and because you've captured their style, mm -hmm. um, you know, well, um, that's always a bonus. So that, that's good. Thanks for mentioning that. That's definitely a positive and a plus, right? Yeah. Um, so anything else? before we wrap up? Um, I guess since I'm here, I might as well let everyone know that um, there's a small uh, boutique here in Tottenham, Ontario uh, called Little Royals. Uh, they're an amazing new uh, children's boutique that just opened up in the area. And the owner, Demetra, who's wonderful, uh, has been nice enough for over the holiday season to kind of highlight some of the local vendors in the Tottenham mm -hmm. area. So I have some of my baskets Well, I'll be featuring there. So if you're in the Tottenham area and you want to stop by and say hello to Demetra, she has so many cute little, you know, accessories and clothing for children. And then my gift baskets are there as well. And this weekend, actually, uh, Friday to Sunday, I'll be at Canada's Wonderland at their annual Winterfest. And I'll be a vendor there at their Christmas market. So it'll be this Friday from 5 to 10, and then Saturday and Sunday from 3 to 9. And they just feature a lot of local vendors. They have a market. They have everything, like, really lit up nicely for a Christmas. So they do a really good job at Canada's Wonderland. Uh, it's only, like, it used to only be open for the summer, but with these last few years, they have a winter fest, which is great. You can bring the family, enjoy some time, and then they have a wonderful Christmas market. So you can get some Christmas baskets get some of your Christmas shopping done early. So I'll be there this weekend in Maple. If anyone's in the area, you can stop by, grab some baskets and say hello. Wow, that's amazing. That is so amazing. 
Yeah, so definitely, if you're in the area, stop by and say hello to Daniela. And, um, you know, it's great that um, uh, the Little Royals, right, that you mentioned, that she's, you know, uh, she's got some baskets. So if people just want to pop in and grab a basket on their way to an event, it's definitely um, um, a good way to promote small business owners, right? Um, very nice. Very nice. And maybe she should come on the show and get interviewed as well. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I was talking about yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to. So much, Jacqueline. I mean, you've been such a supporter of mine, really, right from the beginning. I think you've ordered gift baskets for me every year since I've opened, which for me means a lot. Because as a small business owner, it's hard to get a client, but then to keep the client and have them coming back uh, really means a lot to me. And I a lot of other business owners will probably agree with that as well. And the fact that you take the time to highlight us as small business owners and small businesses really means a lot. So I just want to say thank you so much uh, for taking the time to do that. And any way I can support you, I'm glad to do that as well, because you really are kind of an advocate for all of us that are really trying to, you know, make a difference and supporting small business is something that is needed. So I appreciate it very much. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I mean, I don't order tons of stuff, but Next year, you need to get your baskets in advance so that I can. <laughs> well, your mom is very kind. You order every year, so I really. Yeah, no, I try. I try my best to support as many um, as many business owners as I can. And, you know, I feel like karma is just karma, right? You support each other and yeah. it'll just come back. Exactly. And you'll get it back tenfold. So um, that's kind of my mindset anyways. Um, but thank you. I appreciate your time. I really do coming on the show. Um, for those of you watching, I do this show every Monday. My name is Jacqueline Watson. I'm a realtor with Sutton Group. If there's a topic or a vendor you'd like me to um, you know, interview, um, they have to be you know, doing good stuff too. I don't want to promote yucky <laughs> vendors. <laughs> but keep right. Yeah, yeah. And um, I'm happy to, um, you know, uh, interview them as well. But I want to thank Daniela for coming on the show. Like, there's so much going on in her life, like gift baskets, and they are beautiful. Let me tell you, the baskets are beautiful. And so, you know, just get one, just get one little one from her and support her business this year. And uh, whoever gets this basket, I'm sure they'll love it. And um, if you have staging needs or event planning needs, give her a shout. And for all of you watching, uh, we appreciate you taking the time to hang out with us. And thanks again. We'll see you next week. Thanks, Thank Daniela. You. Bye. Thank Bye. you.